I'm Stuart Lang. I've been both a student and master at Corpus Christi College and I want to talk to you today about, about studying Arabic and Asian studies at Cambridge. We're doing this as a kind of hidden interviewer. There's a hidden interviewer behind the camera which is my wife who did uh, history at Newnham College at the same time as I did. That's where we met. Uh, and it's being done during lockdown which is why I'm in my study with all my books or some of my books behind me. And I did, uh, as a student at Cambridge, I did classics and then I joined the Foreign Office uh, where they asked me to learn Arabic. And during the Foreign Office career of about 30, 35 years, I spent a lot of time in the, in the Middle East. And after that, I came back to Cambridge. Well, now, um, clearly your um, Arabic that I imagine you learnt through the Foreign Office has been very useful to you in your career. But um, let's go back to your time as master at Corpus Christi College. What was that like? Well, I won't go into all the details about being master of a college. Of course, it's a great privilege and honour to do that. But uh, what uh, I really enjoyed, among other things, was giving some support and assistance to those students of Asian and Middle Eastern studies uh, at Corpus and indeed at other colleges. For, ex for example, giving them advice on careers or on their year out. Did you consider pursuing your own interest in Arabic and African history then? Yes, while I was in the Foreign Office, I got interested in Arab and uh, especially East African history. Uh, and this gave me a chance to do an MPhil. So I became a student again, age 62. Uh, I became a student again and did an MPhil at Asia, AIMS, at Asian and Middle Eastern Studies faculty, uh, in the abolition of slavery in the Indian Ocean. And I also wrote a couple of books, or rather one and a half books. One of them was with a, another fellow uh, ex-ambassador, which was this one, uh, and another one, a monograph I wrote by myself, uh, on an East African uh, slave trader and ivory trader. And uh, do you think that uh, your um, interest in Arabic had some influence on those books, or more history? Oh, undoubtedly. I mean, Arabic was really useful for, for both of them, for, for getting at the sources and trying to, uh, trying to understand the culture uh, in order to give the background for, for writing the books. And apart from academic research, um, what would you say is the advantage of learning or studying Arabic? Well, Arabic is a, one of the top languages of the world, spoken by a very large number of people. And the Middle East is such an important area of the world. Uh, even with the declining price in oil, uh, it's going to remain very important. Uh, many, many, many or most of the people living there are Muslims. Islam is a world religion. And so studying Arabic gives you the insights into the culture, history and religion uh, of these societies. Might it, it lead to a, a career, do you think, the fact of learning Arabic? Yes, I think it's undoubtedly, it gives a shortcut, it gives a, it gives a quick route into a career, if not in the Foreign Office, in one of the many businesses who have interests in the, in the Middle East. Uh, or, of course, research and other social studies also rely on uh, knowledge of this area and this, these languages. And, and what would you say it's like studying at Cambridge, especially next year? Well, of course, next year, 20... 2020 onwards is going to be 2020 to 2021 is going to be a difficult year for all students of, uh, uh, at, at, at Cambridge and it is going to be a bit different because there's going to be less or perhaps none of the large scale lecturing. But the great thing about Cambridge and indeed Oxford is that the small group tuition will continue and you'll still have the opportunity of uh, getting uh, these, these small groups for supervisions or tutorials at Oxford uh, for learning and studying. Do you just learn the language? No, I mean you can start, you do start the language, whichever language or languages you choose, from, from nothing on the whole. Uh, if you have a start that's uh, obviously a help but it's not required. Uh, and this ab initio, as they call it, from the beginning teaching and learning of, of, of language is the foundation. But then you get into the history, the culture, uh, and the politics of, uh, of, the, of the area and this all ends up with a very rounded degree. Is there, is there much modern stuff, current affairs? Yes, uh, the faculty <laughs> has links with the political and international studies faculty uh, department I should say uh, and so you can go along to seminars to study and learn about politics of the region. 
And what about other languages? Can you do another language? Yeah, I mean, a lot of people do two, or some people do two um, Asian languages, uh, such as uh, Arabic and Persian, although that's pretty, pretty difficult, quite a hard, a hard ask. But people also do Arabic and French or Arabic and Spanish. Uh, that, of course, makes a lot of sense because of the Arab presence in Spain for, many, for several hundred years. Uh, and so you can link up with other faculties for a double honours. And why would you go to Corpus Christi? Oh, well, uh, of course, I love Corpus Christi and I've been very happy there, both as a student and, and as master. Uh, so I'm a bit parti pris, I suppose. But uh, it uh, has all sorts of advantages. One is convenient location for Asian and Middle Eastern studies. You're just five or seven minutes walk from the, from the faculty. Uh, but above all, it's a small college and provides this sense of community and friendliness, which I think is hard to find in any other college. And then on top of that, that's for undergraduates, but for, for well, for all students. But for postgraduates also, we have this place called Leckhampton, which is a special facility for postgraduates. So we treat postgraduates as a special, a special group uh, and provide them with this excellent place for living. Well, thank you very much. Um... Stuart Lane. I think uh, you clearly have shown that it would be a wonderful place to study and a wonderful subject to study uh, to take Arabic at Cambridge. Thank you very much.